Hey Ninja fans, it's Kaylee Water Ninja here with another My Little Pony video. As you have probably noticed, I have been revamping some of my older videos, but I never planned to redo this one. This changed when I got a request from one of my viewers who really wanted a new story for this character, so I'm fulfilling that request today. On a side note, I have always wanted to do a Princess Skyla backstory, so I decided I would combine the two into one amazing fanfiction. They are depicted together often because they are two of the forgotten designs, so this promotes my idea even further. If you weren't aware, Princess Skyla and Larva were both toys released that never featured in the show, but of course, this is nothing new. Toys such as Twyla, Golden Lily, and Sterling never debuted in the series either, but I decided it would be interesting to find out how they could fit in the show, even if it was never actually revealed to the audience. And this is exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. Once, long before Flurry Heart's birth, and after Sombra's defeat, Princess Cadence and Shining Armor had their firstborn daughter, Princess Skyla. They were shocked at her alicorn appearance, but decided it must have just been genetics from her mother. They decided to keep her birth a secret to only the Crystal Empire, for her safety. Shining Armor felt the birth of an alicorn did not need to be spread at such a young and vulnerable age. Cadence agreed with this and decided that not even the other princesses should know. As a result of her birth, the Crystal Ponies were elated and production was higher than ever. Love filled the air as Skyla enlarged their hearts. Contrary to the happiness in the Crystal Empire, the Changeling Queen herself was plotting her next attack. After being banished, she had been planning how to get her revenge. She came up with a plan to send in one of her drones to go under cover. Long cover. She didn't have time to do it herself, as she had to run the hive, so she began recruitment. After tons of failures, she decided only one of her stature could have the mental capacity for such a mission. She decided to have an heir. Within her next batch, she implanted her genes into a promising egg and kept it under her care. Once it hatched, a daughter fit for a queen emerged. Crystals named her Princess Larva and was pleased at her immediate wit and skill at transforming. She taught Larva under her wing until she was a teen and decided this is when she should act. She raised her to be a cunning and deceptive young princess, but she never let her forget how to be a convincing actor of good. From birth, she noticed a sweet demeanor along with her enhanced abilities, but eradicated this throughout her childhood. Finally, the plan was set. Chrysalis sent Larva to the Crystal Kingdom, disguised as Skyla, to distract the parents, and when they weren't looking, Chrysalis sucked the love from Skyla dry. As she was too young to withstand the effects, she perished. Larva was assigned to pose as Skyla and gather intel about the Empire as long as her mother deemed it necessary. As time went on, Larva would send information to her mother so that Chrysalis was always one step ahead, and she even went into the Kingdom to gain trust and secrets from the subjects. This continued for about a year, but each time she reported, a certain guilt encompassed her. She thought about how generous Cadence and Shining Armor were to her, the love they gave, never ended, and all along, it was for an imposter. Larva realized she was stealing the love they had for their real daughter, and what made it worse was she never wanted to lose that. Her real mother was never satisfied with her gatherings and always chastised her for not trying harder. However, Princess Cadence and Shining Armor accepted her for every flaw and gave her gentle advice when she didn't reach their standards. She discovered they were better parents than her real one. This weighed on her heart for such a long time and it began to impact her actions. She began to give less up to Chrysalis, which of course led to beatings, but it was worth it. Eventually, on her birthday, she decided to reveal the truth. Larva approached her parents and revealed her true form. She apologized profusely and knew what was done could never be forgiven. Cadence and Shining Armor gave no remorse though. Shining Armor called the guards and ordered her to be locked up for life. But Cadence gave in with a little bit of mercy she could spare, and decided she would be banished from the Empire. Forever. Larva accepted her fate and returned home. She explained the situation and pleaded for her mother to see the right side, but Chrysalis refused. With full rage, disappointment, and malice, she attacked Larva and exiled her from the Hive. She realized all of the wasted time she had used on this worthless clone, and decided that the only changeling worthy of any mission would have to be her. She was the only one filled with equal parts intellect and evil. Larva fled her home and cried deeply. She had been cast out from both her families and only because she chose the light. She felt that only goodness ever did was hurt the ones who attempted it. She was set on the fact that only true happiness came from deception. But soon she acknowledged her part in it too. She was only receiving what she deserved. She remained in solitude for a long time before deciding she needed to make up for what she had done. Larva returned to the outskirts of the Empire. Morale had dropped since her departure, and she knew they could use a little love. She decided to give all of it up to them, even if it left her empty and weakened. She wanted to repay them in whatever way she could, and this stored love was all she had. She released the moments of her childhood, the friends she made, the accomplishments she met. She let it all go back to those who supplied it. Once she did, a light swirled around her. 
A chrysalis encompassed her, and she transformed into her true, reformed self. In joy and realization, she returned to the hive, but only found she couldn't enter. Her mother had placed a protective spell linked with her DNA to keep her out. In despair once more, she fled to the outskirts and made a plan. She decided to have children of her own. She hoped that her personality for goodness would pass down to them, and that they could enter the hive to finish what she started. She gave birth to two changelings, Thorax and Pharynx, and put their eggs as close to the castle as she could. Turns out, Thorax had received her good nature qualities and would eventually be the one to change the hive. No one knew that she was the true mother to them except her. After the loss of Skyla, Cadence was filled with grief. She couldn't bear to think of Skyla or use any more energy to raise the spirits of her subjects, so she cast a spell to rid any piece of Skyla's existence. She removed her from the books, pictures, and the minds of every pony except herself and Shining Armor. Once they had Flurry Heart, they decided they should inform the princesses this time, as keeping it a secret didn't turn out so well. For additional safety, they hired Sunburst to watch over her at all times, and made for sure protection was higher than ever. This is why they had such an aversion to Thorax when he arrived, as they had already suffered so much. It was a big deal that they even allowed him near to their young child. Once Thorax defeated Chrysalis and restored the hive, he removed the spell that kept Larva from the premise. Thorax and Pharynx appeared different compared to the others because they inherited the royalty genes from their mother. Princess Larva returned to the kingdom and embraced her sons. She was so proud of Thorax and helped him rule for a short time before she knew what must be done. She returned to the Empire and approached her formal parents. With complete disgrace, she revealed who she was and apologized once more, now begging for their forgiveness. She explained how they had taught her the light after Chrysalis had dimmed it, and how they had an endless supply of love that she learned how to have as well. She asked that they would accept her one last time. With grief and the memory of their lost child, they hesitantly thought about Larva. Cadence then spoke up, explaining how she was very distraught that Skyla had been taken from her, but explained how the Skyla she had raised all of those years was Larva. Shining Armor chimed in, adding that even though their daughter by blood was gone, Larva had been their daughter for so long and was the Skyla they really knew. They forgave her and hugged her crying form. She held them tight as she transformed into an adult Skyla. Larva tentatively asked if she could use their daughter's form, as it was the one she had been all her life. She wanted to be their daughter once more and to feel like part of the family again. Cadence agreed, but decided she should go by a new name to represent her true identity, Blue Heart. She explained that this name represented her tie with the Crystal Empire, as its symbol is the Crystal Heart, and she is called Blue because in both forms she keeps her beautiful blue tinted eyes. So now Blue Heart looked at her two parents and smiled brightly. She thanked them for their mercy, forgiveness, and love for her, and told them she hoped to be the daughter they knew and cherished. They nodded their heads and accepted her once more. Cadence welled up with tears and said, Welcome home, daughter. Princess Blueheart smiled brightly as she held her parents close. Not long after they broke the hug, Flurryheart entered the room. She looked confused as Blueheart ran to hug her as well. She called her sister, which was to Flurryheart's surprise, but Cadence and Shining Armor just smiled. After this, it was announced that the lost princess had returned, and all memory of her was restored. The Crystal Ponies were accepting of her as Blueheart, but she insisted that they celebrate Skyla's memory every year to remind the ponies of who she was and what she means to the family. Because even if Blue Heart is who represents her now, she never wants to forget the inspiration, the original, and the daughter she strives to be. So as the years went on, Thorax led the Changeling Hive while Blue Heart ruled alongside her sister Flurry Heart, and a bond was made between the two kingdoms. Princess Blue Heart continued to be a living memory of Skyla and a continuous reminder that even a changeling can change. All you have to do is decide. So I hope you guys enjoyed my take on Princess Larva and Skyla's backstory, and that you'll be inspired to design some of your own. If you have any suggestions for future videos, don't hesitate to comment down below. Well, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day. Ninja, go!